Hello, this is Alex from Cables.gl, and today I'm joined by Stefan from Undev again because we're <laughs> hey talking there. about exporting from Cables.gl. We have a project that we like, and in our last video, we covered how to export a zip file directly onto our own server that we have access to via FTP or SSH or maybe a, a web interface or something like that. And now we're going to look at another service that is. Um, kind of integrated a bit more interestingly inside cables. And uh, yeah, tell us which one is it? Yeah, uh, the last uh, video was about downloading a zip file, putting it onto a server, as you said. And now we're um, at least making further steps and updating easier by uh, using um, the Netlify integration um, of cables. Um, Netlify is a service that provides web hosting for free and has an API where you can um, upload stuff. And it's a really easy way to have uh, a cables patch running on the web and not caring um, about the FTP uploading uh, and um, everything uh, that is connected to this. might be useful to <clears throat> have previews for um, client projects or um, even full-fledged website um, on it. They are really nice and um, also free, you can uh, check the website. And we're about to upload stuff there. Nice, so all, all I need is a Cables account, Cables patch, and a Netlify account. And I see also, again, there's some documentation I can read uh, as well, which is pretty cool. But yeah, um, I've never used Netlify. I Sounds like um, it's widely used, I guess, and, and it's free and I guess I can explore it and I want to know more. So Yeah, it's pretty cool. So um, first thing that we have to do, obviously, is to um, create an account on Netlify. That's the website. Mm -hmm. um, I already have an account. I'm already logged in. So if you press the login button, it will take you to, um, I guess, what they call um, a dashboard. Right. And I don't have any projects um, in here. Now we have a little catch-22, but also... Um, going back to the last video um, we need to start this project we basically need to bootstrap it and um, this asks us for a folder that basically just has an index html in there if you watched the last video um, it should be pretty easy for you to get something like this um, by just going into um, cables going into the export um, clicking uh, download and exporting a zip file um, then it's compiling the zip file and now we're downloading um, it then we uh, unextract that, um, extract that, and um, now we have all the files uh, in our download folder. And um, if we now go back to Netlify, um, we can just pick this folder that we just um, extracted from the zip file and upload it here. And now it's deploying my site, um, cogwheels rotating and waiting, and now it says my site is deployed. So I can actually use the workflow we discussed in the last tutorial to just drag and drop files into this web interface and, and update my site. But that's a bit uh, old school, isn't it? Yeah, that's. Um, we would have to do this every time we update. We show this, but mm. um, they give us a URL, which is Wizardly Nightingale or something, something Netlify app. Um, mm -hmm. And I can already um, go there and um, see my patch. So I yeah, nice. um, have all the interactivity in there and um, now um, everything is good to go. Um, they offer some um, some services um, and settings to uh, to put this on your own domain uh, so you don't have this wizardly nightingale um, mm -hmm. thingy. But um, that's on the Netlify side. Um, so check their settings. Uh, and also what you can do with this. So we now have our cables patch published right. to Netlify. So like now we get into the cool stuff with, with Netlify and cables integration, right? Like if I want to change my patch five times in 30 minutes before my project review, it seems like it would be a lot faster than drag and dropping files and exporting zips and stuff like that. Cause I saw there's some sort of API key or something like that. So yeah, this one we need, now? but what we saw um, first and client project is a, a good 
on project deadline is a good example. So we made a mistake and left the performance op in here, right? Yeah. Um, so we don't want this on the final side. Um, mm -hmm. And we could now go back to the patch and remove the performance op. Um, that works. So now it's gone. <coughs> I'm resaving this. But obviously, um, this one still has it because I need to re-export it. Um, mm -hmm. And this is what we use the Netlify um, integration for. So now we go to export again, check Netlify and see, okay, it needs a site ID and it needs a, an access token, which we um, can generate um, at this link. And the site ID we also um, get from Netlify. Since I need to copy paste this, um, I'm opening this text editor um, to keep the stuff. So. Um, I'm in user settings, so if you're on Netlify, you go to um, your user settings, and mm -hmm. um, then these are called personal access token. So we create a new one, um, describe it, um, client project, um, generate this token, and now you get this weird password-like um, thingy, and they say mm -hmm. no one will be able to see the token again. So um, we have to keep this and copy it. And this is why I um, have this text uh, editor open to be sure that I keep it. So uh, when I click done, it's gone, right? Yeah. Now it's done. You still see that you created it and you can um, delete it, which I but guess yeah. I will do after uh, this tutorial. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but I can no longer see it. So yeah. yeah. Okay. So nice tip. now we have this and um, basically we can close this tab um, again and go back to our site settings on Netlify. Um, mm -hmm. So this is where we um, deployed the stuff yeah. <clears throat> from the zip file. And now we go to site settings and in general, um, it gives us a site ID, also um, long um, ID thingy, also with a copy button, we copy this. And um, now we put this um, also in the text editor. So then we can go back to cables, um, mm -hmm. pick the export, um, pick Netlify, and um, input the information. So this one is the site ID, and this one is the access token. Um, and, um, just and do I have to enter this each time? No. Um, Cables will save this, and um, you can then um, even more quickly, like these do not change, your access token, as long as the value will not change, site ID will also mm. not change. Um, so next time you don't have to do the copy pasting, you just deploy to Netlify. Which so it's saved with my patch, like, yep. okay. So this we now try, um, and we see the same um, rotating, loading indicator, it's assembling and talking to Netlify. And we also see the summary as we saw in the zip file download has some legal information and um, it says successfully exported to Netlify. Now we have these two buttons. Um, one is view deployment and the other one is um, deployments overview. And the view deployment um, brings us to the updated patch side. We see the performance of is no longer here. So we updated this patch um, on Netlify right now. Um, mm. Client should be happy. No more debug information on it. Interactivity is still in there. And we just updated um, the patch on cables uh, on Netlify. And the cool. So that was actually the button directly from cables where it said like view deployment, like because it understood yeah. what the URL is. Yeah. So I don't even need to refresh the page. I can just click that button after exporting and open the Netlify address. Yeah, right. It w that will take mm. you to your um, deployed website, basically. And then we have this site overview where we see all the deploys, um, which mm -hmm. is a, Net a Netlify feature. So whenever you, um, you screw something up or um, deployed something that it wasn't supposed to be there, um, you can also um, revert to um, older deploys and see what you did and um, yeah, or use all these Netlify um, features. Um, nice. Yeah. Cool. So it actually has built-in versioning and, and things like that. So with each time I export from cables, I'll see this in this log here for the production deploys. Yes. And it also says exported mm -hmm. from cables GL on the, the, the um, exact time. Um, mm -hmm. So you will always know um, when you did this. Mm-hmm. 
And then because you asked, we don't have to uh, enter all the information again. So let's see, client um, still not happy because um, doesn't want the sidebar. We're kind of settled on the colors and everything. Um, so we're removing the sidebar um, entirely. Um, and then we're um, saving this again. And this is now a new version. So I have to save the patch before I do this yes. uh, export. Um, it will also warn you, so if you um, change something and try to export, it will say, please save before exporting. Mm -hmm. So if I now go to export and Netlify again, um, now all this information is already in there and I can like deploy to Netlify. I will um, go through all this um, uh, deployment process. Yeah. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. Again, will show me the same information. Uh, it's less ops and uh, now I can go to view deployment it takes me to the page again and now the sidebar is gone yeah that's really quick and nice and one thing um, I don't know if we mentioned is this is a patch that you own right this is not something from the library it's uh, completely your own patch so I think that that is one of the prerequisites before you export yeah. to uh, something like Netlify using the the access token. Okay. So if you come from a um, from a um, from an example patch or um, want to remix something and then uh, publish it uh, on the web, um, just um, save as, copy the patch, clone it, um, and then you should be offered with um, all these options, uh, including the Netlify export. Hmm. I should probably check the copyright information of the patch before I do that, but. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, and uh, with all the other, as with all the other um, exports, we um, have a documentation on it. Um, gives also the um, prerequisites, um, parameters, mm -hmm. um, basic walkthrough, caveats, export options, um, explained in what to do with assets and browser compatibility and everything. Sweet. So um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, this check this. This was um, so easy. I don't know. Uh, there must be a catch or something. But that is great. I uh, loved it. Yeah, this is so much better than um, exporting to a zip and then constantly uploading it. Nice. Yeah, I guess that's about it. Do I have any more questions? Uh, can I... If, For example, when we did the export with the zip, we, of course have all the files and we can edit them. And here I'm exporting directly to Netlify. And this is more of a Netlify question. Like if I want to edit a specific file um, from my export, would I export a zip from cables first and edit that and then yeah. upload it to Netlify? Or can I do some sort of editing inside Netlify? Uh, you can't, and also that's one of the um, caveats mentioned in um, mm. in the documentation. Um, you can only host one cables patch, and every export will overwrite everything that was on the site before. So if you um, really want to do some editing, check um, on the other options um, that Netlify has. But this way, um, it basically overwrites every previous export, and then in this um, site overview and production deploys, you can roll back if you... Um, if you somehow published something wrong. Nice. Okay. Understood. Yeah, pretty good. All right. Mm, anything else? Well, I guess uh, tell us in the comments below if uh, you know, you've been successful with uh, using Netlify and what sort of things you found. And if you have any questions, definitely ask. We'll be super happy to answer. And we're inviting you to our Discord. And yeah, come and join. Yeah, and, uh, check it out. Yeah, and let us know. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.